absolute favorite coffee replacement. Finance Fridays! I got this blazer set. It's Terry Mugler from a vintage store in Miami. When I saw it, I was like, holy crap, that's incredible. I hope it fits me. And I put it on and honestly, like it just fits like a glove. I can even button it up over my chest, which typically is the problem. <laughs> so yeah, look at this. I think it's from the 60s, but I'm in love. And now it is time to get down to work. So the purpose of Finance Fridays is I am someone that loves finances, I love investing. I actually studied accounting and finance in university, so I find it quite ironic that this is the thing that I enjoy doing the least uh, when I'm working on my own personal finance and business management. Uh, and I leave it to the last minute. I'm that type of person that will put a three minute task uh, and take six minutes, six months to do it, and then I feel really satisfied when I finally do it, but it takes a lot for me to do it, so, what I've added into my structure now is Finance Fridays. It's a half day, first of all, which already makes it easier to digest. And I dress up in an outfit that I would wear when closing a billion dollar deal, of course, as you do. And <laughs> well, that's the thought process, is wear something that you would wear for a really big like business deal or something like that. And honestly, I don't know if I would dress up this much for it because I'm not this dressy, but I'm trying to think of whatever comes to mind and then double it and do it uh, for goals, for intentions, and for the way that I live. So yes, this is my outfit for today, and I'm gonna get into work. I've gotta download and attach a lot of my banking statements for my accountants. I actually need to find new accountants today too. Um, I need one that has a Canadian branch and American branch that communicate with each other, and then I'd like to find a new business manager who will take care of all of my corporate documents, make sure things are filed every year, um, make sure the little payments are paid and things are correctly filed too. So my only responsibility is transferring all of my documents to someone that's going to look at them, kind of like a bookkeeper, and then it's going to get managed and output to me for reviewing. So I'm going to work on that now. Um, and another thing that I'm going to be doing today, which is actually from my life coach, Meredith Baker, is to write a letter, a love letter to money. Um, just to create a better relationship. I think we grow up uh, really emulating our parents and society's ways that they work with money, but they come from different generations for us and oftentimes scarcity mindsets can really limit us. Um, so I think it's important to develop a really healthy friendship, relationship, love, romance relationship with money, whatever works for you. So I'm gonna be writing that letter today as well and I will share it with you guys at the end of the video to hopefully give you some inspiration for your money love letters as well. my absolute favorite coffee replacement in the morning.
organizing my house. It looks so good. And I moved the mirror, there's the bathroom, here's the bedroom, here's me, and here's Peter's room. Luke bought me this earthing mat for Christmas. I've been sleeping on it for a few nights. I love it so much. You plug it into the grounding line of the electrical socket, which goes into the earth for your house. And it's like having uh, your feet barefoot. So this is my letter to Mr. Green, I called him, aka Money, and this is my love letter and appreciation and how I like to hold a relationship with money. Here we go. Dear Mr. Green, I want to start with my absolute supreme gratitude for you always being there when I needed you, no matter what. During difficult moments, I have learned to trust that you will show up some way, somehow. I've come so far from my days of hoarding you, from fearing that I may not have enough to survive or enough to give others when they are in need. The scarcity mindset that I observed in others and patterned no longer exists in me. I feel wide open in my ability to channel your abundance through me to all of existence. Through quiet contemplation, testing theories, and acting as if I'm the most abundant version of myself, I have confidently healed my scarce mindset. I know it is a practice and there are many levels to go, but I feel proud of the relationship we have. To me, you have been a beautiful mirror for me in all aspects of my life. When I notice I'm being scarce with you, chances are I've been scarce with the love for myself or others too. When the weight of receiving is too heavy and imposter syndrome creeps in, I know now I am not seeing myself clearly. And in order to receive, I need to fully open myself to love, energy, and money, knowing that if it has arrived with me, it is meant for me to enjoy. I love that I receive so much pleasure from receiving you, knowing that I can take you, expand you, and have you bring me wild experiences, delicious food, amazing travel, and outfits that make me feel like the queen that I am. I love spending you on things that I know will benefit all beings. I love that through my flowing of you, I've been able to give to others too. I love being able to employ people who are given the freedom to be the, in their genius and work on projects that challenge, inspire, and satisfy them. I love giving you to people in need. I love being able to bring people I love along with me on my experiences and travel and remind them that this is available to them too. Thank you for teaching me about love. Thank you for teaching me about me. Thank you for always being there for me. And thank you for taking me to heights I never knew existed. Thank you for showing me that it is possible to create heaven on earth. You've surprised me, delighted me, and pushed me to keep challenging myself to grow into someone who is able to raise my allowance of your power. I trust and know that our relationship will only grow stronger. I trust that when I spend it on people, projects, and products that create profound ripples of joy, bliss, enlightenment, and wild inspiration for all beings. You're a faithful partner that delights in our delight. I promise to continue to delight and love you for eternity. I receive from an infinite source, and when I benefit, it ripples out to benefit our entire existence. 
absolute divine love honoring Kristen. Love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.